Okay, I'm going to make a little video today about some of the problems I'm having mid-planting with my planter. Um, there's probably a few farmers who watch this, but mostly this is for friends and family who probably have never seen a planter before. So these are the seed boxes here. And I'm um, planting corn seed. It's got uh, graphite and an inoculant on it. Basically, the seed drops down at a rate it's driven by a chain drive. It drops down at a rate I determine. And there's a slit that's made by these discs. And those discs are limited in height by these gauge wheels. And the seed drops down into a trench and then it's closed by these wheels. As you can see, this planter is a little muddy. It was a little sticky when I was last there. So that's the overview of the planter. On to the issue I'm having. These gauge wheels, you can adjust them up or down relative to the depth of the trench you cut, and they should spin freely. They hang on this arm, and they should not wobble side to side. problem I was having on this one here, you can see I've removed it. See, it's there, and I've removed that one. It's on that pin or that shaft, and it's an arm that sits like this right here, and that comes down, and then that at the bottom, there's a bearing there that goes into the center of this tire. This is reversed. So this goes like this, and then that bearing is captured in the middle. Well, the issue is, I don't know if it's going to show up, but listen to this. There's all kinds of slop in this arm, this cast arm. It's worn out. So what was happening, that tire was really getting floppy on that one. And it would start, it, it, it was going to fall off eventually, or it's going to go into the, the disc. This was going to happen and just be a big mess. That one's really bad. There's one other one that's not quite as bad, but... There's a little bit of play in it, and when you translate that out to a larger wheel, it ends up being, it's a good time to change them. If I'm buying one, I might as well buy two and change two. So I'm hoping that Deer has got these arms. There's some aftermarket ones. The bearing and bushing up at the top had little to no play in it. So the issue is down here in this bearing, and I'm guessing I mean, you can hear that one. I don't think it's the shaft on the bearing. Um, I think it's, I measured it. Let's see if this will come out. See, it's that little stub shaft there. It's probably, it's got to be hardened. Um, I don't think that's the issue. The issue is that hole is a little wallered out. So I don't know what these go for, 50 bucks a deer. Hopefully they've got some in stock. It's Memorial Day today. Their parts guy kind of freaked out when I called him, saying, hey, do you got these? And it wasn't particularly helpful. They always stick the new guy on holidays, and he was moaning about it. So I have to wait till uh, a Tuesday to, to go into deer, and hopefully they have them. I can stick them on, and I've still got about... 80 acres, 75 acres to go um, with, with planting, and the seeds are right over there. Okay, well, that's all for now. Thanks for uh, watching, and we will see you on the next one. Goodbye.